Epistemic insight is defined as knowledge about knowledge. And what we mean by that is appreciating the distinctiveness of an individual discipline. It means a deep and detailed understanding of the types of questions that are amenable to an individual discipline, the methods and approaches that that discipline takes in forming knowledge, and it also goes beyond that to help us identify a multidisciplinary approach to construct detailed answers that solve the problems we are faced in a globalised society. These problems might include the current climate crisis or our continued response to the COVID pandemic. EI is really important for teacher education. Um, many of our trainee teachers are very much focused, understandably, on the impact of their individual subject areas. They're very subject siloed. And the epistemic insight approaches allow us to really break away from that so that we're taking a much more interdisciplinary approach to what's going on. And that has to be a good thing as we develop uh, trainee teachers here at St Mary's. More broadly, your question asked about us as a university, and there, particularly perhaps as a Catholic university, there are aspects about the approaches that Epistemic Insight use that are important for us, because they challenge the often perhaps perceived tensions, conflicts, if you like, between science and religion. And by really exploring important issues in a sensitive way, we can really explore them in greater depth. So sensitive issues such as uh, artificial intelligence, robotics, relationships, health and well-being, issues that are absolutely crucial um, for us to consider as a university. Subject knowledge is absolutely essential to being a great teacher. It's the absolute cornerstone of what it is to be a great practitioner in the classroom, as it is to be a reflective practitioner but also about being able to draw upon the best available evidence to inform our approach in the classroom. What epistemic insight adds to the equation is the opportunity for our trainees to be able to consider how their curriculum, how their subject sits alongside and maps against other subjects. So for example, if you took something like, why did the Titanic sink? Then, as a scientist myself, I would look at that from a scientific disciplinary perspective, but my colleagues in the history department would want to have a look at it from a historical perspective. For those in the English department, they want to may have a look at the literature around it. So it's about bringing together different views, it's about bringing different lenses to issues that are important, they're significant, and which our young, which our young children in our schools will be facing as they grow grow into their older years. In England we have the Ofsted inspection and the framework for that was revalidated in 2019. The aims of that revalidation were to shift the basis for inspection from a curriculum that was based on acquisition of facts to a curriculum that was detailed and offered an interdisciplinary understanding of how discrete subjects could be interlinked. The Epistemic Insight Framework provides an opportunity to understand both the distinctiveness of your individual discipline, but also how it can be blended in a multidisciplinary approach to develop a detailed and holistic curriculum. In the wider area of the Four Nations, the Curriculum for Excellence which was launched in Scotland in 2019, has interdisciplinary learning as a key foundation. The Epistemic Insight Framework provides teachers with research-informed tools that empower them to construct curriculums for themselves which can have this interdisciplinary lens. In terms of current policy, clearly we're looking to protect the distinctiveness, the uniqueness about each curriculum discipline, that goes without saying. But there's something about epistemic insight that allows us to explore in much more detail the interconnectedness of the different curriculum areas. And that has to be a major concern uh, for everybody involved in education. So if we consider Ofsted, for example, and the Ofsted research series and the Ofsted framework, while subject knowledge is absolutely crucial in and of itself, what's being looked for is how subject knowledge works across different curricular area. So it's the relevance and the application of knowledge to real world situations and scenarios, those big questions 
that the Ofsted framework is really concerned with. 